flames and exploded while it was taking off from Manila's airport bound for Japan. We know there were eight people on board and there are reports from Philippines media that a Canadian was among those on board. They are saying that there was a pilot, two crew members, a doctor, a nurse, a flight medic, as well as two passengers, an American and a Canadian. Now, we have not independently verified that ourselves. We have reached out to Global Affairs Canada to try and get that confirmation for you. In the meantime, the Manila International Airport Authority has said that no one on board that plane, those eight on board, did not survive uh, this uh, fire, John. It's not clear at this point whether those passengers were being treated for COVID, though we know that this plane and others are being used by the Filipino government to uh, medivac people, being used as air ambulances to get them to other places where they can receive treatment. Those are some of the uh, details that we are getting through at this point in time. Now, it's not clear what led to the plane uh, bursting into flames and apparently exploding, according to a senator in the Philippines who has been tweeting details details and photos about what has unfolded there. We understand that officials in the Philippines are planning to hold a press conference about now with more details. But what we do know at this point in time is that the plane was about to take off, was at the end of the runway when it burst into flames and that there are no survivors. So we will try and get confirmation for you of whether indeed there was that Canadian on board as Filipino media is reporting. And we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it, John. Ayon sa airport police, ongoing ang emergency response ng yarian pasado alas ocho ngayong gabi. Ayon kay Senador Richard Gordon, ang bumagsak ay ang Lion Air Flight RPC 5880. Walo ang sakay nito. Isang medic, nurse, doktor, tatlong flight crew, isang pasyente. At kasama nito. Aeroplano nga ang uh, nasunog at uh, napaulat na bumagsak sa runway uh, 24 ng Ninoy Aquino International Airport o NAIA. Ayon nga sa inisyal na investigasyon, sinasabi nga na nangyari ang insidente alas 8 ngayong gabi. Sa pakipagunay natin kay Kaab Spokesperson Erica Polonio, sinabi nitong uh, wala pa silang uh, opisyal na impormasyon o kaugnay ng uh, naturang insidente at nagpapatuloy uh, nila ang pangangalap nila ng impormasyon. Sa ngayon sa lima, tayo ay nakapwesto ngayon dito sa bahagi ng uh, service row ng uh, Merville Paranaque at uh, nakatungtong tayo sa truck ng Bugdero para matanaw natin sa kabilang side ng uh, mataas na bakod itong ang uh, eroplano na bumagsak. Sa ngayon sa lima ay uh, nakapula na nga yung uh, sunog uh, na eroplano at uh, nakikita nga natin sa mga oras na ito ito nga ay uh, sunog ang unahan hanggang sa pinakagitnang bahagi ng uh, eroplano at uh, sa ngayon nga ay uh, may nakakordon na ang uh, lugar ng uh, runway 24 at uh, nandito na nagpapatuloy ang uh, investigasyon ng mga bumpero ng mga police at uh, iba pang mga otoridad Nakakita nga tayo dito na sinisipat at sinisilip na nila ang bahagi ng uh, bahagi ng uh, eroplano at uh, kinukunan din ito ng uh, litrato. Sa yun, uh, ngayon nga ay uh, nagpapatuloy pa ang uh, investigasyon kaugnay nga ng bumagsak na eroplano dito sa runway 24 ng Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Yan mo ng report, ang inyong kapuso, Ralph Obina, ng Jimmy Sumeraggio, Ralph? DC, Double P. Ralph, Ralph. Lapo. Okay. Yes, Ralph, oh, ang sabi kasi ng airport police, uh, nagpapatuloy yung emergency response. May nakita ka na bang uh, mga na-rescue na mga pasahero noong uh, aeroplano? Oo. Oh, sa pagdating uh, uh, natin dito sa lugar, ay wala naman tayong uh, nakita na merong uh, inilabas o ni-rescue mula dun sa bahagi ng aeroplano. So wala pa tayong informasyon kung ano yung kalagayan ng sinasabi nilang uh, pasahero at crew ng uh, naturang uh, bumagsak na aeroplano. Salima. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maraming salamat, Ralph Obina ng Super Radio DZ Double B.
Pom, pom, pom.